In this video, we will be cracking into an excerpt from Java Masterclass course. This is the full lesson from Java Masterclass course talking about the difference between abstract classes and interfaces. The difference between this video and all the other stuff online is that I use my own language, which I found to be easier than using a bunch of abstract topics that just confuse my students. And I'm going to be giving you examples from Minecraft. If you happen to be Minecraft plugin developer, it's going to make a lot of sense. And after minute number eight in this video, we'll discuss advanced tricks, new Java features and advanced edge use cases that tend to confuse people. So without any further ado, I'm going to be cracking into this video. And if you do want to get access to Java Masterclass, it is a part of all of our trainings, and I'm going to leave a link to them in this video description. Check it out. Let me start by maybe taking a step back and let's have a look at Minecraft, right? Our favorite game, I assume it is. Imagine if some skills like mining or crafting were, quote, abstract. Now, what it means? Well, it means that you know you need them, obviously, but you, you don't know how exactly you'll perform until you pick your tools. And think of interfaces like a tool belt where you can add the tools that you need, whereas an abstract class is like a partially built tool. You can just add the parts, but the basic shape and maybe some parts there are already defined. And um, I've prepared you a huge PDF that you'll find below in the resources section, summarizes the differences in human in simple English. So abstract classes, they're pretty much like a normal class, but you can have, they can have abstract methods. That means that any class that extends the abstract class must implement that abstract method. For example, Java plugin classes bucket, you cannot just do new Java plugin. You have to extend Java plugin or extend simple plugin if you use foundation to make a new plugin. I'm also going to give you an, another example. Let's say that we want to make something pretty epic, which is a mini game. And every single game that we have, we have Egg Wars, we have Skyblock, we have PvP, we have all bunch of games. They all have a list of players. So we can have a base class game and we can have a field with players and we can have two different methods to add a player by the name and delete the player from the game, right? However, we want every single day game to have teleport to spawn points, a method that simply teleports the players, and this is going to be a void, to the initial location. So for Skyblock, this might be go to the island. For kid PvP, this might be go to your group base, right? And um, we don't know how to do that because the game is a generic class. So we actually have to make this void abstract, delete the method body, and make this entire class abstract. And then my friends, check this out. If I go into Egg Wars, I can extend the game like this, and then I have to implement the method and I can actually do the logic right here. And same, same would go for Skyblock. And as I said, we have to use the extend keyword to extend um, our class uh, to inherit methods and fields from another abstract class. The benefit here is that abstract classes, they can hold all of the stuff that a regular class would hold. However, they cannot be instantiated and you cannot do new Java plugin, for instance. So if I go into I don't know, where is my main plugin? Let me just make a new <laughs> game starter class. Let me just type in main body. I cannot do new game. Okay, doesn't work. Cannot be instantiated. And a class can only extend one abstract class. So I cannot do, whoa, what happened? I cannot go inside my Eggverse game and I cannot do game, extends game and then extends skyblock game or do comma, any of that stuff does not work. Now, interface is a special version of the class that is completely empty. It's not really empty anymore. It's completely empty. Okay, beginners, please don't be confused because I know Java decided to go full Bersect and now it's like it's all make, mixed up. In the good old days, it used to be completely empty. And that's the <laughs> that's what I'm going to teach you at the very beginning. And it provides no implementation. 
As of recently, yes, Java started to mess around with it. I'll teach you this at the end of this video. Example would be, we can use a listener class in Bucket to listen for event. Every single class you have can implement, using the implements keyword, that listener class. If I have a class house, and if I have a class zombie, I can make a new class, and I can go inside my interface, and I can call this interface buildable, and have a method to build something, whatever that is. And notice that I don't have to put in any private, any public, or protected. This does not work. Okay, every single method in interface is public, period. It's actually not. It's public, period. I'll explain the advanced stuff later. For now, just keep it simple. And uh, same goes for damageable. So we have avoid damage. Now, the house, it can take the damage. It can be built. So what we can do, we can implement buildable. And here's the difference. Check this out. I can actually type comma, and I can do damageable. So I can implement as many interfaces as I want to. And then AI is going crazy. I just want to do implement these two methods. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And you'll notice that every single time IntelliJ placed the override annotation, uh, this does not matter. The code will work just fine. It is just for, I guess, clarity's sake or the coding standards. It's just there for the developer to see that we are overriding something. We can either override a method that is here. You can even override methods that are already implemented, such as the add player. So we can go inside our uh, game. This is same for abstract class. Uh, where is that? Eggwars game. And we can even override the method called add player, just like this. And you'll notice that we have an override. And we have a little super here. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, but the override doesn't matter. You can delete that. It's going to work just fine. Just know that. So abstract classes can extend one thing. Interfaces can extend multiple things. Abstract classes can hold stuff. Interfaces cannot hold stuff. Just keep it very simple. And abstract classes, great use case, mini games. Interfaces, great use case, different APIs, different functionality. Matter of fact, if we have a look at Bucket, there's a class called Zombie. And I don't want to confuse you even more, but if you have multiple interfaces, let's say you have an interface zombie, and you have an interface animal, and you want the zombie interface to have all the methods from the animal interface, what you can do can actually extend that interface by another interface. This extent has nothing to do with abstract classes. It is a special use only for interface extending another interface. Yeah, I know. It's kind of complicated. So what we can do, we can have a look at Bucket, open up the zombie class, we can see all bunch of methods. By the way, you'll notice that it's a bit weird. Sometimes you have the public, sometimes you don't. Don't worry, okay, again, Bucket's not the best code. Surprise, sometimes, so just ignore that. But you'll notice that they actually extend methods from two different interfaces. Monster, which is empty. Creature, which is empty again. And finally, Mob. And finally, Living Entity. And no, look at that, Jesus Christ. How many, how many layers of interfaces? And all of these methods, which you can see, they have to be inside zombie as well. Okay, So the zombie doesn't have to have all these methods, but the class that implements the zombie class, the class has to have all the methods from zombie, monster, creature, mob, and living entity class. It's a lot of methods. So going back into my little presentation, I think I covered these two. Interface cannot store data, except, except it can. Don't worry about that. It cannot store data. Again, beginners, don't don't be confused because I know a lot of people are going crazy uh, because Java started to expand a little bit. But if you go inside buildable, I cannot have duration to build. I cannot store anything there. Okay, It doesn't work. It only works for abstract classes. Now, before we end this video, advanced tips. Overriding methods, I already covered this. If you want... If you have an abstract class, for example, game, it is a great idea and a coding standard to make these final. What happens if I do? If I go inside my little Egg Wars game, I cannot override an, a final um, method from the extending class. Obviously, interfaces cannot be final because they don't have the method body, but but methods in abstract classes can, and this is how you can prevent it. It's a good idea to do to prevent it because, um, honestly, if you just want to add the player, 
you should just add the player do not do not do some other code here i've seen people go crazy i've seen people teleport the player set the health d delete stuff from his inventory it's just nonsense if you have a method it should only do one thing keep your code simple keep your coding standards high and uh, write multiple methods if you need to do not uh, do not hide arbitrary code inside the method so it's a good practice to do that the override annotation i already covered this not necessary using super we will have a lesson on this just know that super basically opens up the previous instance if i have the add player and i don't make it final i can actually call the add player inside game if i call super which will open up the parents class and then if i call add a player it'll actually call this and you'll you can try it i guys don't send me an email how does it work just use system that out and print it right and you can print out player has joined the game you'll see this message when you call this because it's being called uh, the method in the super is being called and if i call you'll notice that this is being called first and this is being called second uh, the super in the methods and this is for advanced people can be can be can be um, moved around anywhere however check this out if we have a constructor and every single game class has a limit how many players it can have which is a good practice we have a constructor but since this class is abstract and this class extends the abstract class we have to put the stuff in the constructor as well now how can we do it can we can we just make a public egg wars game yes we can but it's going to complain because we need to actually call the constructor below. The way we can, we can do this is just call super, open it, and put in the actual value here. If you don't know how many players you want to have, you can just store uh, the max players right here, and you can just pass it down to the abstract class. And now if I go inside my game starter, and I type in a new Egg Wars game, I have to specify that I at maximum want 50 players here. Okay, that's how that's just how it works. By the way, super advanced tip: you can put stuff below in the constructor. This is gonna called first. This is gonna be called first. This is gonna be called first. Then this code will run. You cannot do this. Cannot do that. Okay, cannot do that. If you need to edit, sometimes if you need to edit max players, you, you need to check if max players is less than 100 you can either do it here and you can complain i don't know new exception whatever sometimes not oftentimes but sometimes you need to do something with the stuff that you put in the main class i'm going to give you a secret ninja trip a trick not trip you can actually have a private static integer verify max players taking in max players right here if max players is more than 100 we're going to complain throw new runtime exception and then we can just return back the same and then we can actually wrap this just like that i know we are at the end of the lesson this is advanced if you don't understand that don't worry i do cover static in this course too later so don't worry for this for now and actually to add insult to the injury java actually plans a change where You'll be able to put stuff before the super right here in the java 22 i think so you know it'll change over time but just know this is how you can do it um this is how we can do it for now also interface can extend another we covered this enums we haven't covered this yet they can ex they, they they cannot extend another class but it can implement an interface we will have a video about enums later in the course now access modifiers avoid them as they do not matter advanced people check this out if i go inside my interface i said that you cannot put public well, what you can put is special secret keyword called default and if you do that you can actually do stuff in the interface hmm that's new because it is it wasn't possible before now it is java is going crazy that's how it works if you want to do your stuff in the interface that's how you can do it let's say what about private right well, turns out can actually do do some secret stuff and actually do it and then you can just call it from only the interface if i have house that extends damageable 
I cannot do some secret stuff here because obviously I don't have access to it, right? And I'm going to give you an ultra ninja trick. So if you do want to, there is that, damageable. If you want to implement the damage just like that, check this out. They have to, they, we actually have to open up the interface dot super. So you cannot do super, you have to do interface dot super, super confusing, I know. And then you can call the damage, which is going to call this. Now here, you cannot do game dot super. Okay, a bit confusing, just mind the difference, IntelliJ will warn you. These are advanced tricks, I do not expect you guys to master them, that's why I save them later. I will give you guys this as a PDF in the resources section. All I want you to do is have this in your mind. Okay, this is way easier, uh, and if you run into these weird issues, check out the advanced tips to understand that. I hope that this video clarified a bunch of things, and I will see you in the next one.